Welcome back, everybody. We are checking out The Witcher 3. Yes. Uh, this is Rye Guy, and I just defeated the Griffin. Ah, uh, yeah. That was a pretty semi-epic battle. Everything's a little bit more epic when the sun is setting in the background. That's true. I don't know why that is. It's just... And it's always nice when you do it, when you have all your battles in golden hour. That won't happen for long. Soon you'll be doing it in dark. <laughs> But that's not, that's not epic, unless it's raining, and then it's very epic. Something yes. about poor weather conditions makes things more epic. Or if there's fire, if everything's just a blaze. Oh, 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 yeah. oh what the fuck? Oh, uh, that, are you, you just gonna run away? You're not gonna try? No, I was just trying to turn around. Oh, hey, yeah, how's that? Bitch. Oh, well, he's coming to you, what are you talking about? Word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and confuse it. You know what? Fuck it. Are we doing a ring around the rosy with it? Cause... No, what, what are you doing? You, Roach, don't run away! <laughs> How do we get off? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Uh, you hold. Oh. Or hold circle. Okay, there we oh, go. Oh, there you go. Are you just. Your horse can just fling you off. That's, That's one, one way, way of doing it. Hey, you can take him. What's a wrath? A wraith. The wrath. Wraith. Let's. Let's do this the way old school. Yeah, this. Wait, what the. Ooh. Come on. I couldn't tell if that was a hood or, uh, or her hair. Where'd you go? Where'd you, did I get him? Thank you, uh, think you got him. Can I, um, where'd, where'd her body go? Somewhere. I don't think you killed her. I didn't, it didn't look like I killed her. Um, go, go explore the... The place the, of power? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get yourself an ability point. Don't mind if I do. Pray to the holy gods. Gained one ability. Nice. I don't think I killed it though. That was the no. I mean, I don't think you did. I think it ran away. Uh, check that. Um, check inside the building if you can. The little church. Yeah. <laughs> Knock on it. See if anybody's home. No. What about some sword action? Nice. That, that actually worked. <laughs> oh wow. I sometimes kids, if you just beat things with a sword, it's gonna open. Guarded measure. Oh, oh, she's there! Ooh. She's there! <laughs> Found you. Did you know she was there? No. I assume, though. Maybe. Oh, shit! She... Ooh. This looks Are like you... a good time for some fire to the face. <laughs> or just fire, you... fire in general. It's kind of dark. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> Flame on! Ow. Our sword in the chest. One of those. <laughs> yeah! Points for style! Nice. There you go. Now you can loot her. Ooh. I think that's a dude. I don't think that was her. Oh, well, you got a blade, which is probably more powerful than your blade. It had a... Oh, wait. Is that it? Is that her? Maybe? Uh, that looks like flame. Well, that doesn't help me. <laughs> there you go. Can't see shit. Use your um vision. Oh, cool. Ooh. Um, that's a good idea. Yeah, because the uh... now I can't see, and I have a migraine. <laughs> oh, look at all those lovely dead bodies that you're burning. Well, they're in a grave already, so. I mean, yeah. I Calvary mean... gauntlets. Ooh, you're getting a lot of stuff. Well, well, that was fun. <laughs> Let's go leave the spooky cave. Place of power. It's gotta be. Yes. Didn't I already? Yeah. Uh, I think you can just redo it and it, see that uh, little. Oh, the timer. Timer. Yeah. Oh, okay. It cool. just increases your power. I think. Gotcha. Where did my horse go? Hey, there he is. You don't expect me to walk all the way over there. <laughs> Yeah, real quick, I'm gonna... No, not that one. No, no. No. Menu. <laughs> Too many menus. Take a quick little cat nap. Ah. Uh, and then, my um, Your nice mid-evening nap between 8 and 9. Okay, so... what? Wait, what's this? Mutagens? Increases your... Uh, I think that one increases your vitality. Or your health. Won't say no to that. Yeah. Or do I have to put that in the? Uh, you have to put it in the slot. 
Oh, unlocked at level four. I'm only level two. I mean, you can always replace it as well. You don't have to have this. I get it at level four. Okay. <laughs> oh, man, what a stubborn bitch. Oh, I have a griffin head on my horse. Did anyone else notice that? Yeah, that, uh, that makes your horse stamina increase for some reason, even though it makes it heavier. Stop, losers. Which doesn't make 100% sense, but it's an RPG, so... Neither it's... does magic, so... Um, I mean, at least magic has its own... Well, it, it makes sense in the world, but I don't think... Like, it makes sense in a lot of worlds to have magic. And, uh, but, like, weighing yourself down makes your stamina increase? I don't think so. Yeah, I guess so. Giddy up. I, I was gonna point out, uh, these, this gr these group of guys who, uh, train, but the thing is, they, they're not there. I, for some reason, they're not in this, uh, this playthrough. I didn't see it last time, either. But there's just, like, these group of guys who, uh, who are just training and doing push-ups. Right. But it's funny because they're constantly doing it in video game fashion. Yeah. And you know, you just you just watch the timer go and like they're just doing this for like what two hours. This? Just watching it go by. You can meditate, they're still like They're still going they're at they're it. They're still going I'm like, man, you must have super buff muscles. These uh these soldiers, they're the elite, they're the best. Yeah. <laughs> Until you take him down with the one swift of your sword because you're a witcher. Pretty much. Have you ever, um, have you ever felt really bad for any, basically any henchman? Because they, they all have lives that led up to that point before you kill them. Like any, any soldiers, they, they train for years. They train desperately for years to become like the point that there are they the many man hours like doing push-ups like sit-ups like to really get the, like this nice abs and then you just come in and stab them and that's that's their life they're done they are just done and i i just think about it and i feel bad every time i only ever feel bad for the henchmen when i when it isn't a clean kill or it's a particularly brutal kill like sometimes you know for whatever reason game mechanics will allow there's like a fall right so like you'll slash and then they'll fall off a cliff that's one thing if you just slashed and you beat them or you kill them it's another thing if you slash and they fall off like a huge castle or a tower and they're just like ah! and i'm like oh that was yeah that was brutal even for you you had a family probably <laughs> Oh, what are we oh, doing? Yeah. oh uh, yeah. <laughs> you have a time decision to either take the money or leave the money. Uh, we kind of missed the conversation, but basically he was like, he was like, yeah. Taking the money. <laughs> Were there some moral obligation there or something? Do uh, they need the money? I, I don't know, actually. No, he was actually being a dickhole uh, to, like, the peasant he was talking to earlier. And uh, the witcher, or... Galt, who's like, oh, you're not nice anymore? And, and so, I don't know, you make a moral dilemma if you, uh... Oh, they're whipping the guy up. now. Where is he? I know, you gonna join in? I mean, you took the money, you dick. I, I'm sorry. Just because he's mean doesn't mean I'm not eating food. I'm not mean either. <laughs> His meanness doesn't equal out my meanness. Well, it doesn't negate it. Thanks for having fun. All right, later, guys. Oh, did he tell us where we needed to go? Um, Presumably. The map. The map will tell you everything. You don't have to listen to a goddamn word anybody says. Oh, that map will tell you. Let's see. Are these... Those are some very tight... Four. That's a very tight uh, pants you're wearing right now. Are you staring at my crotch right now? Is a that what's happening? Bit. A little bit. But oh my god, you're almost level three. Exciting. <laughs> okay. Oh, Ooh, those are nice gloves. Why do I look like I got the gloves from, like, uh, you know, like, Dexter's mom? Yeah. From <laughs> the really, like, <laughs> vibrantly bright gloves. Yeah, the, um, the, like, gloves, like, those are, like, cooking gloves, too. It's like, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, like, gardening or something. Uh, let's see, that's, I, I only can, I only equip stuff that's better, right? And that's all red, so I think we're good. Yeah, actually, I... I, I, I actually don't understand what the, the coloring system is. I don't know if it's better or if it um, it has like a certain magic or something. I think because that is resistance of some sort. Well, it's, oh, it's master a master item. item. So okay. It's probably some whatever in-game. Okay. Know. Actually, with the, the the Dark Knight Sky, those, 
your old outfit kind of looks blue and looks kind of awesome. Yeah, you know, you're right, actually. Kind of got this, like, Nightwing thing going on. Mm -hmm. All right, speaking of which, where am I going? Um, not out there. <laughs> Don't... Um, I mean, it's already marked for you, but... Um, I'm just trying to get an idea, see if there's anything else. I think you go back to that uh, that village, which was kind of somewhere in this general region. Well, that's where you fought the, the wraith, so... Right there, uh, yeah. okay. Lilac and gooseberries. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Lilac and schnozberries. So schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Daddy, I want a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Isn't he the one that gets stuck in the tube? Is it? I thought, um, no, the, the, that was the, that's the bitchy girl. Oh. The little rich bitch. It's like, she's, like, wants everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, she wanted one of the people. Yeah, she wanted... And Wonka's like, I own these people. I don't know yeah. what you're talking about. I mean, these are they're... my slaves, not yours. I mean, they're my employees. Get back to work. <laughs> Ah, uh, nothing, nothing like a little bit of small people slavery. Oh yes, <laughs> that's purple. It's okay because they're orange. Uh, I don't know if that's better or even worse. Because not only are we just we just diminish the uh, plight of little people and orange people. That's racist. Well. I diminished the plight of orange people. That's right, and I, I did the little people. I'm sorry. I... Sorry, guys. I love you. <laughs> don't, don't hate me. I love little people. But orange people. Yeah, no, fuck them. You know, the ones from New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer's yeah. So you've been drinking there, so. forever. He so probably long. just booked his hightail out of there as soon as we beat the gr <laughs> griffin. <laughs> We're done. Drinking. Trouble ruin. Who are they? Who are they? Patriots drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Oh. Hmm. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. I feel like we're about to get into a fight. It. Just this once. Maybe. Why did you bother point them out there? If you play your Gwent right. <laughs> What if, this, what if this game just turned in everything, Gwen? I will... <laughs> hey, you want a duel? <laughs> what Get your to dick. The <laughs> Took him down. Took him down to hang a golden sun there now. Uh oh. Internal strife. <laughs> I cannot show Tamerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's No, I'm whore. fond of my place not being burnt down. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That, that seems that pretty reasonable. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? Uh, uh I do fear it. I, I fear something, something like my place getting burned God. down. I'm sorry for your loss. Okay, I think it's someone, time someone cut her off. Ah, she's fine. Wow. Wow. Leave me be! I've never been that drunk before. <laughs> then you, you haven't, you haven't had the right, uh, amount. You know what it means. I'll show you something. You alright? No, I'm not alright. <laughs> Look at my face! I say witches steal young'uns. That's true. Wait, what? What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. Wait, where did... How did we get to become the bad guys here? Because you stopped the, uh, the girl from beating the shit out of the non-believer. Well, I guess we gotta put these guys down now. Might as well loot their bodies afterwards, too. Just, you know, just in case. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> well, they knew what they were doing. Jeez. So, I mean, I understand these people know the risk of fighting a. Uh, Do they? Do a they? Witcher, but Jesus, <laughs> when you you can go against magic fire and you have a sword and flammable clothing. Hey, I leveled up. My God, that'll teach him. And now you have to clean up 
everything. We should probably go now. It's all right. It's over. Are you going to pay their bar tab? Uh, I got to go. <laughs> it's getting late. Uh, See his face. God save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. I save the day. <laughs> That's fine. That just means we don't have to clean up. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. You know what I would really loved? If like, I know it's, it's our pre-rendered cutscene and everything, but had they done it where it's the real results of my fight? So uh -huh. if like it cuts to the cutscene and they're all on fire, <laughs> like we're heroes, right? <laughs> And the place still gets burnt to the ground. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We saved. We saved the bar. Excuses, excuses. Wait, is that Yennefer? You've not changed. Hell it. yeah. Wait, we found her. We could have just stayed there one more day. <laughs> That's pretty I convenient. A report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. <laughs> who keeps catching fire to everything. Okay. I'm here to tell you to stop I that. Know, it could be more on fire. <laughs> Patience has never been my strong suit. It's you could have called. That would that would be nice. I, you know, a carrier I pigeon, something. Well, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll just brush it off. Expecting <laughs> to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. It's exactly how I how imagined. How did you imagine? I it? thought you'd be more naked. You didn't imagine you'd have yeah, a new be covered in blood. escort. <laughs> don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you, but I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it in Vizima. Ready your horses. Come on, Roach. Let's go. Why Vizima? We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom, even. So you almost can't smell the corpse. Go back at the bar. <laughs> I just murdered everyone there. There's a couple tables open now. <laughs> the weight should be pretty low. <laughs> Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, yeah. Well, that seems very uh, relevant in your life constantly. Yeah, I mean, who else no, wants to kill me? <laughs> yeah, everyone. <laughs> hmm. I'm suspicious. Are you? Are you? You're right. She seems pretty trustworthy. <laughs> Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, this playthrough is going to go great. <laughs> I took the money. I trust her. What could go wrong? <laughs> what about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I saw another bar down the street that we haven't terrorized. Let's, let's keep this party rolling. I'm having a good time. How about you? We'll do a, we'll do a, uh, you know, uh, like a beer run walk type thing. You know, you go to a bar, you drink a beer, you slaughter a man, and you just go to the next one. There are plenty of bars out there. Trust me. So now that we, uh, now that we're uh, going all the way to Nilfgaard. That name still sounds funny to me. Nilfgaard. Like, I know it's like a made-up name, obviously, but it sounds like a made-up, made-up name. <laughs> like a TV show would be like, yeah, we have to go save the Nilfgaardian princess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah. a loser. <laughs> it's like, oh, we have to go to the Schlimschlams yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Princess Erosia. <laughs> oh, check me out. I'm mirroring her. You know, I had a dream about you recently. Until we won't have poor sex. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Well, it did have your demon crab, so I guess yeah. a little bit. <laughs> but then. But then. Uh, am I dreaming now? No, this. These aren't dreams. <laughs> oh shit, I'm not dreaming. What are the odds of this happening right now? This is what... This is what Game of Thrones is warning us about. Winter is coming constantly. God, God damn it, we should have listened to the Starks. <laughs> well, I'm not that guy. What the fuck? What is that? Like a demon dog or something? Oh. 
I think those are more ghouls, maybe. No, uh, they look right. armored. Look at them. Uh, for some reason, uh, keep missing them. Yeah, they're like right in the corner. Yeah, lady, use some magic. <laughs> no. Sorry, other guys that were a part of our team. <laughs> I guess they're all dead. Eh, whatever, fuck them. They had masks on. I know I just uh, talked about feeling bad about uh, killing... Oh, but when we have our own henchmen... We, they knew what they signed up for. If they were evil, then you'd be more sympathetic? Yeah. Doesn't make me a bad person. Don't answer that. This tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Alright, so we destroyed our team, we destroyed a bar, we destroyed a griffin, and hey, back to a bath scene. He does like his baths. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I think by the end of the ga this game, he's just gonna be in a bath and like a million <laughs> women is gonna be watching him for some reason. And it's gonna be like, you got the best game ending. <laughs> Yennefer's dead, but at least I have all these women. Man, I'm really glad that I decided to hear him out. No, I, I think I, you're right. I need to I need to keep bathing. Yeah. Send the woman back in. <laughs> I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his imperial majesty by his full title or not at all. <laughs> then I'll call him that bitch. I don't what? care. <laughs> In that chair. And I'm so shiny. Look how, like, did they rub me in jelly or something? It's like that scene from the second Thor movie when he literally took a bath. Yeah. And all it was was he took a bath and he looked sad out the window, but he didn't really look sad. He just had a blank face. But. You knew he was trying to convey sad, but you knew what it really was for. It was for the women. Because <laughs> I remember I actually sat in the movie, so I was sitting next to one of my friends, who was a girl, and I, 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 like, after that scene happened, after his glistening body, I was like, why was that there? And she's like, she just has, like, this look <laughs> of, oh, exactly. Oh. And I was like, oh, I see why. I see why. Oh. What's wrong with my beard? I always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. Well, I do want to be more elegant, don't I? It's <laughs> hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Hey, and that adds to character. <laughs> Fine. Do your thing. I wonder how many ponytails Geralt carries. Like, how many, like, little tails? Scrunchies. <laughs> little scrunchies that he carries? Exactly. You know, I'm sure in that I long... wonder, like, his little inventory bag. Along with Damn it, that was my last scrunchie. <laughs> General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you Alba in to see the Emperor... The Jessica Alba division? That's what I was hoping yeah. for. <laughs> Send those guys in it's next. <laughs> Except for it's, it's just, uh, sure. it's just Paperwork's uh, order. people who want to look like Jessica Alba and they're all guys. Oh no. <laughs> Send them back. Send them back. Oh, this is when it's, it's, this is what it's talking about for The Witcher 2. They're like, so, what happened? Yeah, I remember coming to this part, I was like, uh, things happened. Yes. <laughs> no. Maybe. Perhaps. Uh, what did you do? Because you actually slightly played it. Uh, uh, you know what, you're, you're, you were kind then. It was a simpler time. You you didn't kill so many people then. Fine. We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. All right, all Arian right. And escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. I like the so same way that with this guy, just like, yeah, that's uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. backstory. So Let me. Uh, writing the save file now. I mean, I mean, the journal, <laughs> the chronicle. And from there, made your way to Virgin. Uh -huh. My question is how. Oh, uh, yes, how? Um, I, uh, um... Uh, 
I really liked me club memberships, so I joined. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You say, oh, good old I or Vef. Me and him, we go way back. Yeah, 30 months free trial. I was like, yes, please. And then then that's when they catch you with the credit card payments, like, afterwards. They're like, like here's those extra fees. I was like, I don't even remember doing this. Oh, yeah, because I never went. That's how they get you. Beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit. You know, I've never had like an old-timey shave like that before. I wonder if it's—I don't know. I think my dad used to do that kind of. He did that, really? I think so. He—he he definitely he did. He was a barber for a little bit. Uh, I don't remember if he actually used. He told me he used to, like, he, the old time. Did he used to sing? Like a like a quartet. By the light, by the light, by the light of the silvery moon. <laughs> He was more like he was more like uh, the Sweeney Todd route, where he did sing, but then immediately murdered. Oh well, all right. Sweeney Todd's about my dad. Oh good. No, not right. He's a really nice guy. Oh all Triss, right. I recognize Triss. She's the redhead from Witcher Two. Um, you saved her, right? I definitely had to save her. Come on, you gotta go go back for the biddy. The yeah. bloody hidden prison Triss miracle. <laughs> I don't know. I care about her, and I tend to rescue. I haven't heard that term in so long. <laughs> What's wrong with the biddy? The biddy. It's like I go, gotta go rescue my bay. Get re no, <laughs> rescue rescue my biddy with a big old titty. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, people. What up? I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tansoville to bits. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I started getting a little bit more angry during the yeah. last playthrough. Fucker. An old acquaintance, more like. Not so close that I felt bad for her, but close enough that I knew she deserved it. He believes he alone knows what is good and what is evil, and that this gives him the right to decide. Hey, you're pretty justice. good at this. <laughs> Your comrade Letho of Gullet described you so. Quite accurate. Yeah. My comrade, your agent. Mm -hmm. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches, in prudent. Yeah, yeah, we get yeah. it. You don't like us. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Da, 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 alive. Why not? Fuck it. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? Good old Litho. Yeah. Unless I hate him. And then in that case, fuck Litho. I think I love them. I think I hated him. I don't know. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? Ugh. I don't know where he is. Backstory that I don't, I don't know about. You know, I do really appreciate that they give you the chance to write it. I just wish I'd played The Witcher 2 now. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. We write our own stories here. Yep. We make our own journey. We definitely killed that one person. Exactly. We write history, not fucking The Witcher, not the game developers. We do it. Even though technically they programmed it in there. But no, I write my own history. Thank you. I might have given you some advice. So long. The man. Good luck with your audience. Mm. Yeah, fuck that guy, right? <laughs> Oh my god, there's a torso on the table. Feels more like I'm being I mean, that's just a normal Tuesday night sure for Gerald. I prepared the gentleman a frock, a tail coat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. <gasps> I get to play dress up? <laughs> Where's my clothes? clothes. Where well, they should have gone long ago with the laundress. Ugh. Jesus. They were my lucky are, clothes. These, these I just got those stars. blue gloves. The will tell me once he <laughs> these are all sassy motherfuckers. Jesus. Yeah. Well. Thank you. All right, let's go play dress up. I'm so but excited. Shouldn't we uh, wait until next time to I play guess. dress up? All right. Next time we find out what I put on. <laughs> During Geralt's fashion show.